In this marathon, I'm on pace. On pace. Run the last around you all day. Get down my way, I'm on pace. On pace. Catch me if you can't on hate. In this marathon, I'm on pace. On pace. Run the last around you all day. Get down my way, I'm on pace. Catch me if you can't. Brad does a video, uh, Ryan's the editor, I think I'm just along for the ride. Good, good. you got to do something. Exactly. Keeps me out of trouble yeah. off the streets. No, I haven't been here for 20-something years. I know the last time we, you were here, you took a picture of me under the tunnel of a 46-footer in that back corner. You ready to mic up, Pete? Yeah. This will only hurt a little bit. <laughs> All right. Where this is we? my area right here. Here's where I work. Little hobby shop I got set up making these uh, miniature boats. Oh my goodness. In my spare time. Actually, full time. I'm Peter Ledden. Born in West Germany in 1950, and I've been in the boat business since 1974. My older brothers were always had projects. Alex liked boats, Richard liked cars. I like, I didn't know. But, you know, watch them work on the cars, work on their boats, work on engines, work on this, go carts, snow planes, whatever. We built them. You had to build your own stuff. You couldn't just go out and buy it. My brother built an eight foot boat called a Scat Cat. It was a popular mechanics plans. He bought a motor for, I think five bucks. Then about uh, five or six years later, I decided to build the same boat, the Scat Cat. That was my first handmade boat. We did everything ourselves. Built the boat, built the trailers, built everything from scratch. Until our 31st boat were, were not successful. But in the meantime, I broke my legs twice. Then I realized, you know, building boats is what I'm good at. Driving boats is not what I'm not good at. So I stuck to building boats. It seems relatively calm out here. When you get a 24 foot skater, it's quite an adventure. Skaters. 
Early on, I had some very good, dedicated racers. Racers always tell you the truth. Someone like Hurley Steps or Ed Collier will take the boat right up to the edge to find out what it's doing and why and give you that feedback. I think the community of skater builders, I mean, you, they, they keep on coming back because they love the product so much. Uh, it's, a, it's like a big family. Once you're in a skater, you can't get away from them. I've always said I'm quite lucky in the um, customer department. Now back to your regularly scheduled program. These are all the uh, big molds. The 55, the 36, the 42, 46. Are you still building Gax the old fashioned way? For the most part, for the 388, 368? They're all custom decks. All custom? Yep. Why do you still build decks? Then? You know, if, if I had to build a deck mold for every one of these models, I'll have one deck mold per model. What if the guy wanted a six man cockpit instead of five, or eight man instead of six? I got the mold, useless. We so. only have a hull mold, and then everything after that is a custom. I mean, you got a custom flat deck, custom bustles, custom cockpits, you name it. I mean, everything we do is pretty much custom. So it does take a little bit longer to build a skater, but you're getting a custom built piece. Oh, wow. Look at this. This is the Yeah, this is the painting. How's it going? Yeah, how are you? Good. Jake, I'm back. How's it going? Good to meet you. Fine, like, yeah, really. Tell me who you are. And, uh, what do I do with my hands? I'm going to be like, these stars, I'm just going to show them all. I finally wrote Mama a letter last night. Let her know her number one son is all right. I'm going to school, learning a trade and a skill. Grab me box 1000, Seagullville. <laughs> I'm Steve Schulte, a professional painter here at Skater, subcontract. This is my son, Jake, my business partner. I'm Jake Schulte, been working here for 20 years, custom painting like crazy. He was a natural when we first started. He took great to it. He's an artist as well. And so we work together as well as a team. It's been very beneficial for both of us even just to uh, just be able to work with your, your son. So he doesn't really work for me. You know, it's more like I'm, I'm working for him now. <laughs> but I maybe do predominantly the design work. That's not to say he hasn't played some part in it. But in the end, I'll go in the office and design and he'll be out here starting things. and. Then we'll, we'll come together on the boat and lay vinyl and do all the painting and striping. And, yeah. Oh, they had a Volvo. It was like an early 60s Volvo. It had a back on it. How would you define Peter? Well, that's, that's tough. Um, how would you define Peter Ludden? And how would you just generally describe him? Peter's, uh... Uh, Peter is, uh... <laughs> uh, I mean, it can be tough, as I think, you know, anyone working with their family will tell you. I've been with Pete now for 10 years, and Pete's a, Pete's a really good guy. Pete's bullheaded, and so am I. He's mellowed out a lot throughout the years. Let's put it that way. 
you know, maybe it used to be a lot harder. We've had some, we have some knock down, drag out fights through the years and, and uh, sometimes it's just like we're an old married couple. He's a creative individual, obviously. Uh, to me, it's, it goes beyond just like being a hydrodynamic genius. I mean, he's a very creative person and a three-dimensional eye. I would say craftsman. Yes. A true craftsman. Yes. When I went to get insurance for the 30, if the boat would have weighed 200 more pounds, it would have saved me a lot of money. And I called Peter up and I said, would you please change it to where the boat weighs 200 more pounds? And he says, I refuse to say my boat weighs more than what it weighs. I'm proud of how like my boats are built and how well they are built. He is probably, as far as I know, the only one left who does everything by himself and by hand. He's designed all of his models. He's done everything from scratch where everybody else CNC's plugs and, and so forth. I mean, Pete builds all of his plugs and everything by hand. 36, 38. All I can do is explain to these guys back there, whatever you do, do the best you can. Do the best job you can on the boat and make it perfect.